tips on my things, which is always lovely to see and have. She will tell you more about herself now. So let's welcome the lovely Nellie Hong from O'Brien Financial Advisors. Yay! So this is a, our firm's tagline, your future is our focus. Um, we have clients who has been with us like 40 years because the business started uh, was started by Des O'Brien. And um, yeah, so we focus on um, helping our clients realize their ideal future. We listen, understand what's important to them and partner with them. It's a long-term relationship. Um, have to work together in order to achieve what's important. Uh, next slide, thank you. So this is a fun, uh, we like to have fun at work. We work hard, but we like to have fun. And our team members, um, I mentioned about 28, and then we have two nice furry friends there. Our well-being officers, they belong to one of our team members. Um, yeah, so it's all about well-being of the team members first. So everyone's engaged and we look after the best interests of our clients in a collaborative manner. So um, thank you, Chris. So this is just five of us out of the 28 and they're all in my financial planning team. So we work collaboratively with our accountants uh, like Dan and others um, to deliver all the solutions to our clients in that one meeting, whether it's accounting, tax, financial planning work, Every, everything is uh, delivered in the same meeting so that our clients do not have to travel more than once to our office if they don't wish to. So everything is about making things really easy for our clients so they save time and focus on what's important, spending quality time with family and also have time to build their business. Thanks, Chris. Gina. So before I start on the um, actual presentation, um, disclaimer, so this is not advice, it's all about general information that we share and um, case studies. So this is not advice, um, very important agenda for today. And I'll talk about how we can add value as a team and giving uh, a real life example on saving for a home deposit. So Tracy will jump in uh, to help me whenever um, she can. And she is really good with the younger generation. As I uh, keep mentioning, in the past that my focus is on people who are approaching retirement and my oldest client is 96. Today, I'm gonna to meet another client who's 98 with an accountant, helping her to demystify uh, aged care advice. But at this presentation, I'm gonna talk about first home buyers, how you can save for your first home deposit in the various ways you can do it. Um, next slide, thanks, Chris. So as a firm, we help clients in different areas, um, starting from tax returns, self-managed super fund, um, wealth creation, all the way to um, retirement, as well as aged care strategies. We also look after investment side of things, but we always focus on strategy first and product last. Next slide, thanks, Chris. So this is a real life case of uh, a client, Jack, that's not his real name. He came to me in 2016 uh, because his parents referred him to me. And now he's looked after by Tracy, which is great. So Jack's initial goals uh, were first, like he's got 10,000 available in his um, account and he wanted to talk about how to make his money grow because interest rate were dropping you know, over the years and now it's like, 0.1% uh, RBA rate. Um, and he wants to know about what to do with his cash flow surplus. And when can he have a decent deposit for his first property? So um, next slide, uh, Chris. So the strategies we implemented for Jack after completing a statement of advice is to invest at 10,000 first and then put in a thousand a month because he's a good saver um, and put him into funds that is well diversified in line with what he is comfortable with, making sure he can sleep at night and he doesn't worry when, you know, he hear the news about markets going up or down. 
the uh, next slide. Thanks, Chris. So this is it. what Manage Funds is about. It's all about not putting all your eggs in one basket and let the fund managers uh, who are expert and look at it every day to manage for you. So we work in conjunction with our investment research team um, to help clients put their money into better uh, returns than a, than a bank account because Jack has got about five years before he wants to buy a property. So um, next slide, thanks, Chris. So this is an example of Jack's risk profile and how it, it looked like in the last three years or five years, which took into account the big dip in March last year. So Jack was able to slip through the pandemic, which is great because he didn't need the money then and he didn't pull out, um, which is very important. He, st he stuck to the strategy and it is recovered a lot since March 2020. And now he's re ready you know, to enter the property market because um, next slide, Chris, we'll show you how his funds look like since he came to us in September, 2016. And the latest report we gave him in March, 2021, although the market was volatile and really bad last year, on average, his um, portfolio actually did around about 7.7% .7 per annum. Auto past performance is no guarantee of future. We work together with our clients to make sure that um, they, they get the best outcomes for their savings plan. Next slide, thanks, Chris. So these are just examples of how cash, the cash rates were going up and down. And um, you know it was just 0.37 sometime back in uh, 2020. And then uh, we show our clients, next slide, thanks, Chris all the different um, assets, how they perform throughout the period. And we borrowed these slides from Mercer. So these are all research-based. Um, next slide, Chris. So you can see that, you know, other um, international equities can be very volatile. So we make sure that whatever we put our clients in is well diversified and not all in one asset class so they can sleep at night. Next slide, Chris, thank you. So what we normally do is, as I said, we focus on strategy. We don't put in the whole lot uh, at one go. We divide it up over time and this is the benefit of doing so. So rather than uh, putting the whole 60,000 in one go, we split it into different months. And over the last 15 years I've been with the firm, this strategy has always worked in our client's favor. And uh, Chris, sorry if you keep going. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oops, there we go. Yeah. yeah, so the advantages is, you know, you don't time the market. You just keep sticking to the strategy. And at the end, you, you are better off um, doing this strategy. And the only disadvantage is the market keep going up. So um, there's, um, yeah. So, and what we do next, sorry, uh, Chris. This is another client, um, Chris. So Tracy, feel free to jump in. So this is another client, Jill. Again, not her real name. She came to us uh, in 2020 after the market dropped, like, you know, in March really um, dived. But before the hard lockdown, she managed to talk to us. And, you know, during the pandemic, people don't spend money, right? So Jill, She's earning about 60000 and she only needs 40000 per annum living in a share house with her friends. She's got 15000 in a bank account and she's able to save 800 a month based on the cash flow modeling that we uh, did for her. Um, Tracy, do you want to say anything here? No, Tracy. This one's all good. <laughs> All right, that's good. So Tracy actually used this for a webinar, so I borrowed it from her. Um, she's more focused on younger clients. And again, this is the daughter of my uh, retired client. So we do it intergenerational advice. So uh, Jill's uh, concern is, you know, will I be able to afford to purchase a property and how much do I have to borrow? Um, can I afford a repayment? So we also work together with uh, Rory 
to understand how uh, much a person can borrow based on her earning capacity and capacity to service the loan. So Rory will talk about that later. So if you go to the next slide, thank you. So this is our last slide. Um, what we do uh, and our strength is really on cash flow modeling. So again, we, we are all about making sure people have the cash flow to fund living expenses and what's important to them. And we map out how it looks like in five years time, um, you probably can only spend about 603,000 on a property, which won't get her much, you know, in this crazy market at the moment because of FOMO. But of course we work together with her and make sure that she find the right property um, talking to Zeno, he's really good and telling people not to go crazy and overpay for a property. So that's all for my presentation. And I believe, um, oh, sorry. So that was what we recommended. So um, yeah, so we, it's all about helping our clients achieve what's important, working in conjunction with Rory and Zeno to help young people to um, eventually own their first property. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nellie.